For the last question here, um, we are going to actually do the divide by the binomial. And we need to rationalize that denominator. So remember, to rationalize the denominator when you're dividing by a binomial, you need to multiply it by the conjugate. So the conjugate of 3 plus root 6 would be 3 minus root 6. And if we use our shortcut there, and oops, don't forget to multiply the top by the same thing. Okay, so we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So 3 minus root 6. I'm going to start with the bottom and I'm going to use this trick right here that when multiplying conjugates, you take the first term squared minus the second term squared. So here my first term is three. So I'm gonna do three squared, then minus my second term is root six. So we have root six squared. Well, three squared is just nine, three times three. And when we square a square root, that cancels the root out. Root 6 squared is just 6, so my bottom actually is just a 3. Okay, up top, we just do the distributive property here. So um, we're going to do 2 times 3, which is 6. And then 2 times negative root 6 would be negative 2 root 6. Now the last thing to look for is just the things outside the radical. I have a six, a three, and a two. If there's a number that all three of them are divisible by, then you can divide it out. If not, we're gonna leave them the same. Well, here, six, three, and two, there's not one single number that all of them are divisible by. Okay, two works for six and two, but not for three. And three works for three and six, but not for two. So since there's no common number that all three are divisible by, we're just going to keep that the same. And our final answer would match this last choice here.